All right, I'm starting to take apart the inside, the center console here, so I can remove the shift cables. And before you do that, I recommend taking the shift cables loose from the transmission side. I don't have footage of this, so I'm going to play a clip from the YouTube channel Man in a Garage. I used his videos to get the engine out of this car. Next then was the shift cables. It was kind of awkward. You can see I dropped one off there after squeezing it with the channel locks. I don't know if there is a better way, but the channel locks did work to get the clips off the one end. Once you get the clips off that allow the cables to come free of the chassis of the car, you need to undo the very end of the cables that go onto these little metal balls. I tried the crowbar and that didn't really work at all, but in the end, just a chunky flathead screwdriver was all you needed to get those gear shifter cables off. All right, now we'll transition back into the inside of the car and start taking apart the center console. Um, so this whole center console needs to come out. It's pretty easy. The first thing you do is remove. If you want to remove the center console, you remove this. It's got the switches for the windows on it. So you need to undo those. There's no clip. You just need to pull them off and they're kind of a pain in the butt, but they just pull off. Second is the shift boot here. You can see it has just four clips. One, two, three, four. So you just kind of like get underneath it and pry it up. It'll pop off. And then there's a five millimeter Allen wrench that you need to loosen. And then the whole shift boot will just slide up and off. And then back here, kind of like in the coin tray or whatever, there's a little rubber mat. You need to remove that. And there's a screw back here. And I think there's one more here. I need to check that. Now I'm just going through. There's one here. There's one here. And now the whole thing is loose. Last thing I've removed, you need to remove to pull the center console is this piece here. But I'm gonna just, it just pulls out. Okay, I did need to pop this loose so that I could pull the, <clears throat> pull the center console out. So this plate needs to come off and then I can disconnect the shift cables. To remove this cover, you pinch these in. So you squeeze them in and it just pops off. Okay, now we can see our shift cables here. And so these will pop up. All right, so next you will remove this gold clip by just prying out. And then these, if you get some pliers on there, you squeeze them in, these little tabs, and then it will pop up. All right, so now I got the e-brake loose. I had to undo these nuts to give this some slack so I could pull this up enough so I could get to this bolt underneath because it, you can see, once I let that down, it hides it. But now this is loose. I think I'm gonna take this all the way off here. This is the cable obviously that goes to, I guess it's not obvious, but this is the cable that goes to the parking brake to the rear to the rear wheels emergency brake parking brake however you call it now i think this will slide all the way off we have one connector here on the one sensor here for the parking brake okay now with the parking brake lever uh, out I'm exposing more of the shift cables um, so we're getting closer all right so now there's four bolts for the shifter I'm gonna take this loose that should undo one all right I figured out how to loosen this this right the green cable here it's got three set screws so you loosen that you loosen them and then you're able to turn this and I'm thinking it's just gonna come off okay there it is so this one's out all right so the next one is for this other cable you're gonna need a t30 
at least I don't think this is aftermarket or anything. It's a T30. Where's my, here it is. T30 Torx and it goes inside here. And it goes on the side. There it goes. All right, so this is the bottom side of the shifter. Once you get that screw out, this just pries off. Okay, now, now we have the shifter totally loose here. Um, totally independent, we have our shift cables now exposed. All right, so for this part, I'm gonna voice over here because there was some background noise, but you're gonna put your screwdriver in this slot here. You'll see these little slots in between, and you'll have to pop these over, um, pop these little tabs up. There's four of them. All right, so in this clip, this is for maybe people that are reassembling and forgot how the order of the bushings and O-rings went inside these little clips. So here's a, just a little visual on that green cable. All right, so on this one, you can push the spring up and twist it and it'll stay up. And then I thought it unscrewed, but you just push it down. You just pop it down and it comes off. It's a rubber grommet there. There was a grommet that went here. It was a pain in the butt. Don't try and knock the top. So it needs to go back out of the car. It needs to go back, yeah, out and at the bottom of the car. So I was trying to hammer the top. I was focusing on the top. That was doing nothing. So once I started hammering the bottom, just hammer the bottom all the way out and then it'll push. Um, it'll push out. That's the way to do that. Okay, so I got the cables out. Oh my God, that grommet was the worst. But like I said, just hammer on the bottom, not the top, and it'll push out. After you get the grommet out, it's pretty easy. Um, the cables just pull out from underneath. I sprayed a bunch of, um, I do like a simple green and water mix. It's just like a soapy mix and sprayed that all around the grommet to lubricate it. And that seemed to work. All right, thanks for watching and I hope this helps you remove those shift cables from your Porsche 996.